Hey dudes, welcome to episode 14 of my Banish Let's Play series. How you guys doing? You guys doing okay? Uh, I hope that you are. I hope your weekend was awesome. I hope your week is off to a great start. I uh, hope you're having some fun. It is Memorial Day here in the United States. And, uh, you know, I'm not... I am not a violent, pro-war, crazy American, but, uh, you know, there are people that do do sacrifice their lives for the safety of others, and uh, no matter how you feel about war, uh, you need to be respectful and thankful for those people, and I am, so thank you. Thank you to those that, uh, that choose to sacrifice for the safety and the well-being of the rest of us. Um... So today what we want to do is uh, a couple things. The, the main point that I want to get across to you guys is, uh, is about this number up here uh, about our population. So we're going to talk about population growth. We need to have a little bit, uh, a little bit more growth in our population happening. Um, and we're going we're gonna to get that to happen. Um, we're going to talk about what slows that down and what keeps that you know, from going up. Um, we let's see what else we want to do today uh well you know maybe a chapter or two would be good help get that uh, happiness just up a little bit we, we've increased it a little bit i played a couple years here before we started recording just to see how so you know check the state of things and it's going well so um but you know honestly you know we need to talk about housing and um you know we're up uh i'm up on the on the beta release of update 1.0.2 so if we do have any you know fire issues we'll see uh hopefully hopefully that'll be good another big part of the update from my perspective is uh is cemeteries so what happens with cemeteries is before we get started here i'll just tell you real quick cemeteries uh it takes quite a number of years okay for so if a house is near a cemetery the happiness of that house increases because um, cemeteries allow people to deal with the death and passing of loved ones so they don't take a shot to their production their happiness increases okay so uh, graveyards though in the real world if you, you probably wouldn't want to buy a house right next to a cemetery uh, in the game they actually increase happiness so that's why we have them scattered around but you see this one is full of 12 of 12 graves uh, in the game normally it takes a long time this just stays full for a really long time and over, you know, a couple decades, I guess basically what happens is one of these tombstones will deteriorate and another grave spot will open up. Um, and that time frame in 1.0.2 in that update has greatly decreased. So um, before we'd have to build a ton of cemeteries to keep people happy, um, we have to build slightly fewer cemeteries now. So that's going to be good too. But um but yeah, so let's let's get talking about about this number up here. Um, so we've seen it before. Oh, also this episode we're gonna get some farming done, and I cleared out this little space kind of squarish in here. I don't know exactly how far into here. You know, let's just let's go ahead and outline that with. Uh, let's see if we can do that with some road here. bring this to here actually let's let's go ahead and get this going I'm just gonna try and do an outline that kind of hugs the contour just so I can you know better visualize where I'm gonna be able to to actually build in here And, you know, with the population that I have right now, to be honest, uh, I'm going to have to turn off these uh, natural causes death messages because there is a lot of them. Which isn't necessarily a bad thing. It's just that, you know, they're kind of spamming me down there. Don't need it. Do not need. Um, okay, so... We'll give these these guys some time to work. Good to see he killed a non-existent deer over here. Um, so while those guys are doing that, we'll talk about houses. There's a couple different kinds. 
It's a couple different kinds of families. So what happens is, right, when you build a new house, you get a young family to move in usually. And a young family looks like there was one around here before. Too young. Uh, oof, very old. Um, all right, a young family. Let's. Well, there was a big family here anyway, somewhere. There it is. Okay, so these people aren't old, but they have three kids. Okay, so the, they'll maybe move in when they're you know older than fifteen, sixteen. Um, and then they'll have a kid. They'll pop out a kid 14 years ago. They popped out Tangel. And uh, seven years after that, they popped out Hilla. And then Victorian a year ago. Um, so that's fine. This is a, f a good family to have in a house. Now, eventually, these people, these, you know, student and two children, the student will turn into an adult and then go about their business trying to find a job and start their own family. If they don't have a house, they stay here and then they don't have kids. And so the population growth stagnates. So we, we don't want that. Um, but then what happens ultimately, even if they do move out and, and the two children and the student move out because there's housing available for them, they become they become these people, Arthurman and Nelia. And so it's just an older couple. They, they're they not going to have any more kids. They're just going to live here until one of them dies, like Seasonton died, Seasonton's partner died. Um, now, this is an entire house that could fit a family of what? 18 people uh, and it's only got one person in it so as the population moves along and grows through time we get this mix of houses so what we need to do is so this house is just gonna stay full with this one with season 10 until season 10 dies or a house closer to where he works opens up for him to move into um, there's another good young family uh, here this you know Wilhelmer and Leatrina. Very pretty names. Very nice names. Um, they're just old. And you know what? They're, I hope they lived a great life together. But um, eventually this house will open up. Eventually Seasonton's house will open up. And families will be able to move in. But we're going to need to reach a critical mass of houses where people will continue to have open houses to go in to start families for the population to continue to grow. And people will be able to live out their lives in their own houses, and it won't take away from the ability of other people to to live out their lives. Does that make sense? So we have a couple different kinds of things. We have we have the new families, we have the growing families, we have the families that no longer grow, and then we have the single people living in houses by themselves. So there's going to be a mix of those, and those are going to be in different levels. So we need to we need to make sure we're adding a supply of houses that is enough to increase this number right now this is where this this number is going to kind of just with the number of houses we have the number of old people the rate at which the old people are dying um this number is going to hover probably between 170 and 180. so we need to get i think for you know what i've seen in my in my games this number needs to be about 55 60 for a, maybe five ten years to get this number above 200 to stay above 200 so uh, and I just happen to look at the number of children not students you could do it by number of students too um, so that's that's one of the things we're working on now also I don't know why I closed that but also uh, we're worried about food production right because we're gonna have a, a little bit of a population boom to get that housing available for people to continue to grow their families so that's something we need to pay attention to also. So um, I threw in a Forester Lodge down on our latest annex down here. Um, uh, I got this little Forester Lodge here. And then right along the edge of that, I just threw a piece of road there. So between there and here. And I'm actually going to clear out these so I can see a good outline. Um, and then just have them replant, which is no big deal. What am I doing? Road resources. Jeez, get to get it together, God. So, I mean, generally speaking, did I close that again? What is wrong with me? Um, generally speaking, the the foresters, I got them set at about five thousand, I think. So they pretty much have nothing to do but go out there and plant anyway. So they're fine. They're fine. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and carry some stone down here. But our plan, in the meantime, our plan 
to trade for goods like iron and stone to avoid having to uh, to avoid having to go ahead and you know start mines or quarries is paying off you can see the numbers that we have here and I've been ignoring them while we're talking here but let me show you the recent achievement that we just got ready for anything here it is simultaneously store 2,000 fuel wood 500 stone 500 iron 200 tools coats and 30,000 food so we nailed that one. another one bats to dust so I'm gonna stop singing um, I'm gonna throw a couple fields in here I'm gonna see in here I'm gonna see where they're going to fall probably connect this road here um, and uh, yes we got a little neighborhood here this little area in this rectangles for houses uh, so we're gonna get some houses in we are going to get the farms in as best we can as many farms as we can and then uh, and then I'll get back to you guys that cute little that cute little farming annex got some corn delicious we got some data and uh, this pepper field looking awesome <laughs> I love peppers love chili peppers love spicy food the spicier the better painfully spicy I'm digging it I think these are bell peppers and not chilies but that's fine I'm a huge fan of sriracha if you don't know what it is go find it I have a, I have clothing with sriracha on it that's how much I love it anyway so we take a look up here. Now we were in like mid 170s, right? This was 40 to 45. We get this up to 50, 51. It's sputtering back and forth, and we're up above, above, a bit of best. Got it? <laughs> we're up above uh, 180. Uh, so that's good. So we still want to get this number up to 160, but I or up to 60, but I don't want to do it too quickly. I have enough stone, and I closed it again. Why do I keep doing that? Next time you see me go to do that scream at whatever device you are using to watch this video as loud as you can just do that it won't affect anything but I think that would be funny so I don't know why I keep doing that but anyway so um, I, I feel like if I keep this number up above 60 then we'll be good we'll break that 200 pretty easily maybe 220 225 um, we're just gonna need to build more houses and like I was saying I have plenty of stone to just build houses and fill this up but I don't want to do it too quickly because I also got to keep an eye to make sure the food is coming in at a good rate so patience 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 so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and keep keep it rocking until we get to in the middle of next year we'll see where we're at see how we're doing I'm gonna connect these little roadie doties up right here do that right now and um, so yeah, we'll see where we're at next year and then I guess think about a chapel question mark it's not a cathedral it's a chapel it's a chapel we're gonna think about a place of worship <laughs> uh, let me get it right I need to get it right here sorry it is a chapel yes okay so then we're gonna think about chapel um, and I don't know where to put that but I'll figure that out also so we're gonna keep it rolling because we're doing all right Food is up to the limit. Did you did you scream at the computer? Did you scream at whatever device you're watching this on when I went to close it again? <sighs> anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, we're going to keep it rolling, like I said. I'm going to maybe expand here a little bit. Maybe throw the chapel in back there. Uh -huh. Maybe throw the chapel in here. Anyway, um, so yeah, so I'll be right back. All right, so hopefully I can, I can get through this without jinxing it. Thank you. No, thank you. Um hopefully <laughs> uh, so just connect that there so I built a chapel and I I I don't know what type of land mass is a little land bridge I don't know what this would be called if it were cut off here and it would be a peninsula anyway whatever this little thing is here I put that there and boom instantly 200 members and uh, I wanted it to be central uh, centrally located so that you know mo more people could more people could go ahead and and use it um or have a shorter distance to walk and but it filled up immediately and i have way more than 200 people here so i had to open up a second one i'm about to hire another priest clergy cleric cleric uh so here we go Blip. 83 members wow i am close i am close to <laughs> halfway towards needing another 
chapel, but that's okay. That's all right. That's okay. That's all right. Build all day. Game all night. <laughs> if you know that rap song, don't sing the words to it. If you don't know, don't worry about it. So what I got here, you saw, you know, from a couple episodes ago, uh, got a cherry orchard. Banging away, we're moving out a cherry ale, a.k.a. a creek, a Belgian style. Uh, Belgian style ale made purely of cherries. I like beer brewing, which we talked about also. So that's happening there. And I was like checking this kind of thing out. Now, I don't know if we can see it in here, but it's not showing up. I'm not seeing any ale in here. So what I was thinking was I want to pull some ale from here. I use this to pull ale down. So I ordered 100 barrels of ale there and then they're gone I don't know, did people maybe drink them already do, am i like underestimating the level to which people like their beer anyway um so those vanished i don't know I, i've been looking around through the storage barns in the area and i'm not i'm not seeing them down here so um i got a plum orchard going here which i need anyway so uh so we can get all all the different kinds so i built it as big as i could just on the lip of this area here, um, right in here, it fits nice and slug. It, it fits nice and slug in there. Ah, oh, slugs be. It fits nice and snug in there, so that's where I jammed it. I got a storage barn coming in too. Um, I've decided that what I'm going to try and do. So this number is good. 62. Seeing this, this peaked over 191 or something like that for a couple of minutes, and then it dipped back down because you know old people die. Uh, and then uh, every summer, I'm going to add five more houses until we can get this number consistently consistently up um but i think we're in good shape i think we're in pretty good shape we got 16 kinds of seeds we got one two three four five six seven eight eight kinds of fields planted so not bad halfway through halfway through we're doing good we reached this this limit here so we're cranking out a thousand beef booyah uh so we're doing we're doing well um this number is going to be steadily increasing we got to keep adding houses until we get to that magic point uh and what will happen is one of two things we'll either go one of three things i guess we won't go far enough and this number will continue to not ever tip past 200. we will go a little too far and this number will decrease faster than we can replenish it which would be bad the stored food uh, or we'll get it just right um, which is what we're gonna do because we're gonna freaking knock this out of the park it's gonna be awesome so things to be careful of when you're expanding again same concerns for expanding for you guys you know what I'm saying it's you know don't expand too fast don't expand beyond your means your ability to feed people and keep them happy and clothed and tooled I guess and to equipped you know what I'm saying? Anyway, that is it for this episode. I hope you dudes enjoyed watching. Check out my YouTube channel for other Let's Plays. Got a bunch of gaming videos. Got a new series starting soon. Maybe might have up to three new series starting over the course of uh, over the course of this coming month. So definitely check back. Some good stuff to see there. It's going to be exciting. We got the build challenges on the Infinite Heights Minecraft server coming back too. You guys are going to be fun. So you know, check it out. If you uh, you know, if you if you found something useful in this episode from watching this video, give me a like. I appreciate your view. Either way, it means a lot to me. I need you to know. I do truly appreciate it. So thanks for taking a second to check this out. It has been a good time. I hope you guys had some fun. Uh, but for this episode, that's it for me, dude. Steve Duke, and I'm out.